Good afternoon, traders, and welcome to another edition of Awesome Calls Trading. I'm AJ. Today is the pre-market uh, recap review um, of what we did today for May 29th, 2020. Um, on and off, I'll probably take a trade here and there uh, to fill my bank account for more money. If you hear me and the signal goes off, that means I'm still trading. Um, and in fact, I might just do one before we even start to talk. Hold on one second. Uh, I got a base at 1821.50. I think it'll pop through it. It did already. I'll go right there. I'll see if I can pop it more. Yeah, it's not really popping. So now it's popping after I got out. So that's what it does. <laughs> as soon as I got out, it just popped. Oh my goodness. Story of everything, you know? You take the trade, get out. As soon as you get out, it pops. That's exactly what you wanted to do when you took the trade. Let me try it again. Okay, I got that pop. Not a big one, though. Oh, I did. $31. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm scalp trading. And I saw this base right here. Okay, so basically, I'm longing the stock right off that 822, and you see how it moves up 30, 40 cents? I catch 31 cents of that. So on 100 shares, that's $31. If it breaks through here, I can go to 823. You see how it's moving? Because I'm talking instead of trading. So I have to. So now what I'll do is I'm going to isolate and buy the pullbacks. All right, so I'm going to just kind of do that real quick. Since the trade is actually making a move to the upside. So what I want to do is be patient. This is what we call scalp trading. And I'm just scalp trading to move. And I am going to wait for a pullback right there. And then I'm going to see if I can get that moment. I don't want it to. Oh, shoot. There it goes. Let me try it right here. Let me see if I can push it 20 cents, 30 cents. Let me see. Nope, on that one it bit me. You see how like when as soon as I went in, it pulled it. And then it see, again as soon as you get out, it pops back. See? <laughs> and then it goes up where you want it to go. Oh my gosh. Sometimes if I just hold for a split second longer, I can get everything I want on the trade. Just a split second longer. Nope. Nope. It's trying. Nope. Got it. See it? Oh, I went from $36 to actually negative on the trade. So I'll come out here, and I actually lost $10. I should have took it when it popped. And I would have made 36 because I went long here. But see, sometimes when it pulls, so I lost, I lost actually $6 or $7 on the trade. But this is what I love to do. I like to just, I'm green on the trade. I just love to buy the breakouts. And these moves are really, really nice uh, for me. 821 to 823, that's two points. And I normally can catch 30 to 80 cents on a move like that. So I'll just keep an eye on it. If the stock runs, then I just kind of pop it long and just let it rip. At least that's what I like to do. Doesn't mean it necessarily doesn't. Okay, um, so I'll just keep an eye on that. It does preoccupy my time when I do look at it because I'd like to make money. On the side here, what I'll do is okay. We had a couple of nice trades today. Gonna get props on FVRR. This was another offering. It didn't make my list today on my top 12, but JT and uh, James, uh, especially JT, had this one on hers. And um, it was a, just a monster move this morning. And, uh, and uh, I'm trying to play this one more time, as you can just hear me. And there it goes. Now if I could just pop it. I want to take out high of the day is what I'm trying to do here. So... There we go. There's the higher day. See the pop? So I got all of that right there. See it? 
I got all of that. That's a hundred dollar trade. That's one hundred dollars I just made in front of you. So sometimes you get a miss, or sometimes you, you know, but overall I could see the trade moving to the upside. So I rather I love making a hundred dollars, getting into it, play the pop, sell into it, and then and this is the proper way of trading for me scalping. Yesterday, uh, Tesla was just being ridiculously, I mean, the market makers were just tearing me apart on the pullback. And then when I went long on it moves there, it just went, it just pulled each move, regardless of how much it went up. So uh, anyway, I made $100 on that. So I'm currently up 85 on Tesla right now for being a little bit negative. And uh, so if I see another one of those, I will take it in front of you. Okay, um, so this was a nice offering price. I believe the offering offerings are again another way of getting pretty much. They're almost like a, uh, swing trades, but they're intraday trades for long. For uh, we did a R E G R R E G N. We did one for fifty five points. We did order yesterday for five. Today they only priced two million shares at sixty. Okay, two million shares at sixty is like it's like two cents on a hundred dollar bill. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like nothing. So this morning it hit the 60 price. It should have hit my list, but JT had it and it roared to 66 a share. Basically, it's a blue light special and you're buying a stock on discount. And uh, hold on one second. I'm going to try to pop that right there. Oh, and it pulled me, pulled me. It won't pop. It pulled me. Okay. Only took six dollars. I'm waiting for it again. And what I'm waiting for is this to go, see. It's that split second. You see that? You can go from. Um, hold on. I got a feel that it's going to pop again. This time to eight twenty four fifty. There it goes. You see that split second? Go right there. Nope. See, it pulled me. See, timing. Now I just lost. Yep, it pulled me. I'm going to wait. Nope, it's pulling me. I'm going to wait. I'm going to see if it pops. If not, I'll kill it. Nope, I got to kill it. 20 bucks. They got me for 20. Again, I'm just waiting for that another pop out to make 100 bucks. So right now they're holding it right here. But this is gearing up for a nice push here. So I want to do another one right there. Just wait for it. And then it'll take out the high of the day again. And then I'll just move up to 824.50. I'll be very happy. And so um, whenever you have these type of plays, um, you got to take advantage of them. Uh, and I'll show you a few of them we did. We did REGN. Uh, we did this at... Uh, Five hundred twenty-five dollars had an offering, and today it is five hundred ninety. I gave the stock three days ago, and if you were a swing trader in our chat room, you bought it here on a discount on a blue light special at five twenty-five, and sixty-five points later, you're at five ninety now. It only took two and a half days. You got all your money. That's a sixty-five point trade. Most people dream of a trade like this. We just find them in our room. The other one was Arna. This was yesterday's play. Um, Arna, I gave yesterday at, uh, you can see here at 51 a share, blue light special. Today is 59. You could have bought this one if you could only trade one trade a day. Um, and, uh, you know, this would have been your baby. Or you could swing it, overnight it, you would have made eight or nine points. This is the only chat room in the actual planet will actually find these type of trades day in and day out. One of the things that I built my reputation on besides IPOs when I was coming up in the ranks was also offerings. People never understood them, but I did. All right, and today, FVRR. You can see FVRR. Um, they they had when you get a dip like this. Typically, it's a uh, they're actually letting you know they're doing a filing, and then the offering. But nobody knows the price. Once the price is set, then it becomes an established payment, uh, an established um, amount, and then you just kind of go from there. And, so in this case, it was $60 pricing. So you buy at 60 or under, bottom curl, long it, and it went back to 66. Arner was pricing at, I think, 50. So anything under 51 was a buying opportunity. REGN was pricing at 515. 
but I felt that the stock would um, actually uh, not go near that, so I figured 525 would have been the bottom. And there you go, 55, 65 point trade. And so, in just in these three trades alone, uh, you have 65. Hold on a second. I think I'm going to get this one this time. Let's see if I can get this one. There goes 15. If I can pop it, no, nope. it's not popping. No, nope. it's getting me again. Yep, it got me. It bit me again. It wants it, but it won't give it to me in my time. Oh, come on, just pop. No, nope. no, nope. doing what it does. This is Tesla. Now I'm red on the trade. <sighs> it's just teasing me. See that? Popped. Yank a point. But it, you know what? At the end of the day, you look up and go all the way up here. <laughs> There's just nothing you could do. It's just the way scalp trading goes with Tesla. It's better than shop. Shop will, as soon as you click, you're down 90. And then you got to wait for a buyer to come in to take you up. But you can see how it's consolidating right here. So I'm playing against the machines on this. So I'm just looking for that one more pop. Um, we got a couple of uh, small cap stocks that really worked, worked really, really, really well today. Um, and right now they're pretty much shorting in the chat room. ADAP is a short, small cap. Looks like it wants to come down to $9.50 to $9 to fill this gap here. Uh, today we played it. Um, we were actually shorting at 11 1150 up here and we we suggested to take it down to about I was looking for seven dollars on it felt it was up too much. It was too thin um, But uh, it came down to eight found a base uh, Nice nice pull in the morning you can see right here And gave the traders a nice opportunity very thick too and then it ran uh, Ended up running uh, we caught it also intraday around the eleven dollar spot. And we took it up to 12 plus So that was a good trade uh, The next one we did was Sanoa this was an amazing setup today. Uh, however, the news to me was just really, I mean, just it, it, it had no reason to be up. But shorts were going to squeeze it pretty heavy today because they wanted to get, get in this one because in the end, the stock is going to come all the way down, down probably seven, eight dollars a share uh, within probably, I would say, maybe two days. Um, you can see that it was coming from 540, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to this $10 spot. Uh, easy and under. Uh, that's just today. So the higher it pops, the more range to the downside. This is a great intraday short right now. Uh, should come down really nice. Hold on one second. Nope, lost another thirty dollars. As soon as I pulled the trigger, stock sold off. Now I'm green, green, green. So I'll take it right there. Now they're holding. This is what TD holds. You hear this? I put the sell button in, but TD is currently, see that? Did you time that? On a market order, they held it for an extra 15, 20 seconds. And sometimes TD will do that just to, just to nail you, you know, to, because we're scalpers. And uh, nothing makes them happier than to, to watch a trader lose money. They don't want traders to make money. So they'll hold it. Sometimes they, they'll hold the positions for a few minutes before they fill them. And that happened to me several times. But I do like the pushback up, so I'll keep talking to you while I am doing what I do. Thank you. Got that little push right there. And now it's going to push. The next one we did uh, this morning was the big play uh, was uh, Feel, P-H-I-O. That was the best one today. This was so much fun today. Uh, this was a great trade today, hands down. Oh, my goodness. I'm green, but... Uh, they're pulling it. Yeah, they keep pulling it. 
over and 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 over. That's all you do. They pop, pull, pop, pull, pop, pull, pop, pull, pop, pull. And then also torpedo up. See? This time I'm I'm being patient. So I'm green solid on the trade right now. Now I'm solid really green. If I pop here, payday. So I'm kind of just holding it this time. My hand's on the trigger. And they're going to pull it again. Now they make you... See that? There's another pull. So from here I was green. I could have sold it, which is typically what I like to do. But I'm just anticipating a rush take out high of the day. So I'm still green. I mean, I'm, I'm, they just, I think TD knows I'm green, so they don't want to give it to me. <laughs> and as soon as I get out, they'll ram it high of the day. All right, this is my stop right here. I shouldn't say that because TD will like, oh, that's your stop? Let me take you there. I just want to take out high of the day. That's all I want to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, I hit my stop. I shouldn't tell them. Oh, market makers. Look at them taking this stop. See when I said this is my stop? All right, see, they're going to take it to my stop. There's my stop. Now watch what will happen. They'll rip it right back up. You'll see. And the next one was feel. This was a beautiful trade today. Um, really like this one. We played this with size this morning. This was our a BO from yesterday. As you can tell, this was a BO. A BO did sell off to mostly today. They'll probably do an offering today. But a BO was amazing. Uh, this is one we we went from basically five dollars to twenty two, crazy stock. This was just insane. Uh, today uh, it was feel. Uh, the news was good. It was very thick in the morning. I want you to look right here how thick this was. This was really thick. And what I mean by thick, I'm watching for volume. And it started out pretty you know, twenty five thousand blocks, but right around here, I mean this is where it really started to take off. I mean you started getting thicker blocks, eighty five thousand. 87,000. And this is what I look for 49,000, 50,000. Okay, this is a buying opportunity. When you've got that kind of thick volume in pre market, you need to be buying the stock. And that's just what I was telling people in the room hey, start picking it up at 450. So I actually was buying it up here around 455, I think it was, because I, I could just see the massive buying coming in. And I'm like, okay, when you get a buy in pre market like this, and you see this kind of volume, you're going to get what you call a massive pop. So this is what I anticipated at the open. You're going to get two factors here. A short squeeze, which are shorts are trying to pile in because they know the news is not worthy to warrant the value up here. So the stock is going to basically come down. And then you got retail, like myself, buying the stock up following the shorts, the shorts applying their positions. So for me, I wanted to take the stock at 455, which is right here. This is my pre-market notes. And right here was my fill. Once it dipped, it found a base right there. I bought right here. This was, a, I clicked the mark, uh, a limit order and uh, they filled it. And then I said, okay, now watch traders. It'll go to at least 550 to six. And there it goes. It hit 621. Um, and then other people, uh, when it sold off, they bought it cheaper and were able, actually, they got around the five base and the stock, I said, would have ripped to six to 650 and it hit 648. So it was a double win for everybody in the chat room. It was really, really, really nice. And then they just kind of just sold it off. So these, these trades were phenomenal. Uh, anybody in the room, anytime, walk in, buy 250 shares, pop 30 cents, make $60, you're done for the day. Uh, you could buy at 500 shares, would have popped to the point, would have made 400 on your sell. Um, it, it's just, it was a pure win, a solid win. And it's a small cap builder. These were small cap builders for the last two days. And in hindsight, you kind of wish you could go back and, and, you know, this is the dream of a trader, of any day trader in the world. If you knew this stock was going to hit 20 and it was at four, would you like buy the entire, would you bet your whole house on it? <laughs> yeah. I'd buy 100,000 shares if I knew it was going to go to 22. 
But you don't know when you're trading these and you think to yourself, man, if I could just buy 10,000 shares at, at 40,000 and even got eight points, I would have made 80 grand. Every trader thinks that. Every trader thinks that. I even thought that last night. Man, I should have just bought 10,000 shares. I should have, should have. But you don't know. You don't know. You know that it can run four or five more points, three or four points. You're pretty comfortable with that. And you're going to have some pullbacks. But nobody sees a, a 22 until you start to see it take off. And you have to see the flag breakouts. The one thing you always have to worry, be worried about when you trade these type of stocks, you got to worry about is if, if they're going to do warrants or an offering in the middle of the trade. And that has happened repeatedly. They have done that. And that's really, really bad. Um, one minute you'll be trading like at 22. The next minute you're trading at 9. And it really wipes people out. It really does. And, and that's when the owners of the company, they get so greedy. And they go, okay, we want to take out all of this. And so instead of taking a partial of 4 million shares at 16, they'll go in there with 24 million shares. And they discount it to 8. So all this is for, this was just for them, not for you. A short seller, he's happy because he just covers at 8. Um. And usually at that time, the stock will actually pull below and then just grind out and die. And you have to really play the market when you watch these kind of trades because you never know when that's going to happen to you. It's kind of a kind of a sad thing when it does. I've seen traders get wiped out on stuff like that, and it's so sad. For me, uh, back in the young days, I, I used to I got caught in one one or two of those, not understanding. Uh, but now, you know, that's why you can't. I mean, think about it. If you bought 10,000 shares here or 5,000 and all of a sudden they pulled the warrants on you at, and they said, okay, warrants 6 million and offering at 8 million, $6. Okay, you got a downside halt and you're over. By the time you open, you're at six and you lost uh, six times five, $30,000. You wiped out your account. So that's why people. You know, for me, I just take what I can get. If it makes me money, I get it, grab it, move on. But you got to watch this kind of stuff. You know, when they run, they're great. But you also have to get in and get out. You cannot marry trades like this. And if somebody tells you on Twitter, this has room to 40, okay, that's great. That's an opinion. Think all you want. It doesn't mean it's going to go to 40. Play your own play. Play what you can afford, you know. So... Uh, you can't, you know, you can't just, you can't listen to all these people out there because let me tell you something. Everybody's got an opinion, but hardly anybody trades. Okay. The only time you're going to trade and learn this is in a real room, a real room, a room that somebody comes in and says, you know, this is going to do this, take money on the way up and, and really kind of forces you to do that. You know, doesn't play games with you. And uh, you just don't want to get caught in stuff like that. It, it can be very, very hurtful. And you won't be a day trader anymore. You'll be working at JCPenney's or Sears, cleaning up their bankruptcy boxes. That's no fun. Another great trade we did today was big. This was just get out of my way. This was just all written up. This was all pre-market determined. This is the epitome of awesome calls. You know, you trolls out there, you know, you know, people that have nothing nice to say because you don't day trade as it is. You don't even make a living doing it. Um, but look at this call. I mean, how are you going to trash a call like this? I get up, I look at it, I read the earnings, and I sell it to everyone. When this snaps 40, the stock's going to go to 38 and under. So let's just say you're a hater and you hate my guts because I'm so good at what I do. And you think I'm the worst person in the world because I'm so good at what I do. But then you come in and you're like, gosh, I need to make 500 bucks. Can you help me, Anthony? Can you help me, AJ? Sure. Why don't you short it? Because, you know. You can hate me all you want. Walk in the room. I'm still going to help you. All right? I don't care what your feelings are. My, hair, my job is to make you money. Maybe you'll see the light. Maybe you won't. I don't care. I'm just going to give you the call. If you want to watch the call or do you want to take the try, trade and make the money. So do I want you to short at 41, 42? Absolutely. But I want you to be convinced. I want you to know that when it hits 40 and pulls, you're going to go to 38. And under. All right? So let's say you needed 500 bucks. So you come in. Yeah, I hate you, AJ. I hate you so much. I hate you. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. Why don't you wait to 40 pull at the open, go in there short 500 shares, and slam it to 38 and under. Have a nice day. And you're done for the day.
See how easy that was? See how easy that was? Hold on. Just need forty dollars. Hold on. Oh, wow. Wow. That was beautiful. Had a big chunk there. Um, no, I don't long over the weekend. That's another thing you do not do. Do not long over the weekend. That's a no-no. Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen this weekend. You do not know. You know? So, I, I do not. I used to do that when I was a rookie. And I wake up on a Monday, sad as heck. You know? Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Trump's going to talk now. And uh, anyway, here's 40. Went to 36 on big and then moved all the way back up. Trump's going to talk right now. So I'm going to come off the mic. And let him do his thing, and let's just see what the market does. Keep an eye on SPY. And if SPY pulls, you can short the Netflixes and all the other beautiful stuff. And watch APDN. Uh, this one's moving again. Uh, I'm sorry, ADAP. Okay? All right, watch SPY traders. All right, take care. God bless. Bye-bye.